Oh hi, this is Shirley from Shirley's Art Ventures and today I'm going to show you some basic crochet techniques and teach you a little bit about yarn and sizing. So what I'm going to work with today is Red Heart Super Saver yarn. In this um, pound bag is we're going to do burgundy today. It's a four ply yarn. It says a uh, five millimeter crochet hook is what you should use for H. Eight. Well, today we are using a size I crochet hook, so that's a 5.5 millimeter, so it's just a little bit larger than that. The yarn will usually tell you the size of it. This is a medium four yarn, and it tells you the size of the hook, and if you're doing knitting, it tells you the size of the knitting needles. So today I'm going to show you a basic chain stitch, so we find the end of the yarn. I would think I would have found this by now, but it's right here. And in doing a chain stitch, what you need to do is you need to do a slip knot. You do a slip knot by twisting it around your fingers and pulling it up with your hook. So there you have your slip knot. Now with crocheting, you use a hook. The hooks usually have a little flat part on there where you can hold them. So since I'm right-handed, I usually hold my crochet hook between my thumb and my index finger in my right hand with a hook facing me. My left hand, I start with my palm up. I put the yarn between my little finger and my ring finger, and I twist it around. And I twist it around my hand, and then I hold it like this. And sometimes like this. You know, sometimes it's hard to explain what you do, but that's what I do. Now, for a basic chain, you take your hook, you wrap the yarn around your hook, and you bring it through the loop. You have another loop on your hook. Wrap around and bring through your loop. Loop on your hook, wrap around, and bring through your loop. I usually hold my crochet hook like this. Some people hold them like this. And then I use this finger to hold my yarn on this hand because it will move around and it helps keep a steady tension. So you see I very smoothly pull my yarn through. Now my little finger here is gripping this and it's pulling the yarn so it doesn't all come out at once. Now if you try to do it, you know, like this, you know, it's very haphazard and it's not very easy to do. But new crochet people, they learn to hold it differently. So right now I, I have it a little different and it does work. But the way I do it is, is like this. So the basic chain stitch, this is the foundation for other stitches. So if you look at the basic chain stitch, you can see it's in like three different parts to it. So if we are going to do a single crochet, we're going to pull our loop and then we're going to chain like one more than the length that we want pull it through, and in single crochet we're going to skip that chain right there, and we're going to go to the next one. So we're going to go inside, and today we're just going to go with a one loop on top. So then you grab your stitch, you pull it through, or your thread, you have two loops, and you grab and you pull through both loops. So then you go to the next one, you put your crochet hook in, grab and pull through, you have two, then grab and pull through. Now I always seem to I'm go to the next one, you see it's behind my hook, then I kind of bring it over the top so the hook grabs it, and then it will pull through. So that is a single crochet. 
Now to make a double crochet, you would go around the hook first and go through the next hole and bring it back and bring it up. You have two on the hook. And you wrap around and pull through. So let's do this again. You wrap around first, you grab your hook, you take it and you put it in the next spot for today. It's going to be right here. Then I'm going to wrap again on the other side and bring that through the hole. You have two on top. You see I have three on top all together. So I'm going to wrap again and bring it through the first two. And there's two. Wrap again and bring it through the final two. So I'll show it to you in real time here. So that that is a double crochet. Now there's something called a half double which you kind of combine both of those where you wrap, you put through the next space, you wrap again, you pull it through, you have three on your hook, wrap again and pull through all three. That is a half double and that's used a fair amount too. Sometimes you get caught on things. So this is just starting off on the first row. Now you can also start off by going under the V. And I believe I turned mine upside down so that didn't work so well. But we are going to reverse now. So if you're going to do a single crochet reversing, you're going to chain one. Turn your work. You have one chain and you see this hole right, right here. And you're going to put your hook through that so then there's two pieces on top. Grab, pull through, grab again, pull through two. You have one on your hook. You put through the next hole, wrap around, pull through, wrap around, pull through two. So if you're going to do a double crochet, you wrap around first, go through the next hole. So you, you have all these different little places here. So if you find the V at the top and you look down, there's a little hole underneath there. You put your crochet hook through and there should be this V at the top. So you pull through and pull through again. So wrap, put in the hole where the V is made, wrap again, pull it through, three on the hook, wrap, pull through, wrap, pull through. And then the half double is made by wrapping, putting in the hole, pull through, wrap, and pull through two. That is called a half double. So these so are the three basic crochet stitches I am going to show you right now. And you can you can build it up and make it go a little lower here too. You see how it kind of changes style. So that's a half double which leads to a single crochet. And then you can do a slip stitch by just putting it in the hole, grabbing and pulling through that hole and also pulling through where you were. And then you can end what you're doing by pulling it through and cutting it off. And pulling it through again and that will tighten it up. So that's just a little demonstration for you of the basic stitches. Thank you. This is Shirley from Shirley's Art Ventures.